Plus Rivian. Well, it started delivering the electric vans it makes for Amazon to Europe. It's first commercial shipments outside of the United States. Amazon will roll out more than 300 delivery vans in the coming weeks to German cities, including Munich, Berlin, and Dusseldorf. Joining us to just talk through that a little bit more is Bloomberg News' Craig Trudell. So how big a deal is this for Rivian? Because the shareholders like it. Yeah, it's absolutely a big deal for Rivian. I think any time there can be a sort of reminder of, of the ties to Amazon and the role that Amazon plays as a big customer is a good thing for Rivian. Not that uh, folks who know this company well and have been following it closely will, will forget that. Uh, but I, I do think this is a company that, you know, if we take a sort of step back and think about, you know, what's happened since their blockbuster IPO in late 2021, they've had a, a heck of a time getting production up and rolling. And so this is an indication that, you know, yet another Another indication that you know production is is kind of being smoothed out. We saw that a little bit uh, earlier this week with uh, the production numbers that they reported mm. for the second quarter, and the fact that they're able to now uh, you know not only uh, you know boost uh, deliveries uh, locally but start some exporting is a is a positive sign for production going forward. And positive coming from the analysts as well. Needham analyst Chris Pierce lifting the price target after those production numbers. D. A. Davidson, the analyst there, really upgrading the stock to neutral from an underperform. And therein lies the fact that it has been underperforming, right? There has been a lot of worries and concerns. Just remind us of what's sort of been the chokehold on the production side of things. I mean, they, they were suffering from, you know, the, the issues that the broader industry had, has uh, for, for a couple of years now, right, of, of just uh, supply chain duress and the chip shortage. And just when we think that we're through that, now we have, you know, these concerns about these metals in China and whether or not, you know, that will be the latest, uh, you know, thing to, to slow down supply of semiconductors. I think one of the things that this uh, story speaks to, though, the, this idea of, of starting to ship uh, vans uh, to Europe is just the, the need for... Uh, electrification in this commercial vehicle space and this role that Rivian could play in that. When you think about uh, sort of the biggest bang for your buck in electrifying things that are on the road, uh, if you can electrify these vans that do a ton of miles a day, that are doing uh, increasingly these last mile deliveries because of the rise of online shopping and deliveries in city centers, we know for a fact that you know cities want more of these on the roads. Uh, incumbent manufacturers are having a hard time meeting demand. Startups are having a hard time meeting demand. So if Rivian can get cranking on, on these vans, uh, we do know that there's a lot of, of uh, you know, interest in these if, if they can, you know, sort of uh, follow through on this big order from, from Amazon for over mm -hmm. the next uh, half decade or so.